Alright, welcome back to Gomer Plays Mega Man Unlimited! Last time we got through the first part of the occupied Wily Fortress, and now we go through part two, the water stage. Oh, Mamrus, help us all. Ow. Ah, shit. Goddamn, 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 goddamn. That was poor, horrible performance. Let's try that again. Okay. That's better. Holy shit. Yeet. Water buoyancy is at its best. Ow. You know, I forget what programming language they use to uh, make this game. But I do know that... I, I do want to make, like, my own Mega Man fan games. I've been wanting to for years. Or at least a Mega Man style fan game. Um, the question is, you know, what language? I've worked with Game Maker, um, and there are actually a couple of other programs that, uh, that Zoe Quinn has pointed out that I've, that I've tried, um, and they seem to be okay. There's also another one that doesn't get a lot of love, unfortunately, and it's called IG Maker, uh, sort of for Independent Game Maker, and it's, it's actually made by the same guys who do, uh, RPG Maker. And it's worth your money. It, 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 it's a lot simpler than a lot of the other programs. The trouble is, you don't have as much control over certain things. At least not as far as I've seen. Um, but if you like, you know, just putting together like a simple platformer or something. And I do mean simple. Because, <laughs> trust me, I, I've been... I've been trying to do... A, I've been trying to do a Mega Man style game for a while. Uh, will you just... Fuck it. Trying to do that for a while. Oh, what? What? That was bullshit. You guys saw that. It's like, it's like he. What did you? You just. What the fuck was that? That's some bullshit right there. That was some fucking bullshit. Ah. So anyway, IG Maker. Uh, if you haven't tried it, go check it. I actually suggest checking it out, um, especially if you want to get into it and it's relatively simple. Um, Stencil is one that uh, Zoe Quinn pointed out as well, and that one's not so bad either. Whoop. Ah. Pardon me, my nose. And good thing I have shock absorbers, otherwise I would have I would have died back there. Yeah, there we go. How many do I have? Seven shock absorbers. Good. I'm well, I'm well prepared. Ah! See, that, that's a bit of a trap there. Because for whatever reason, you cannot... Yeah, you, you, you go out a little bit. Ah. Whee! Whee! <laughs> I gotta say that, I gotta say though, as much as I'll bitch about water sections or whatever, it is fun to jump all... It is, buoyancy is fun! Ow! That is not... Oh, hi. What the f- Okay, I've gotten this jump before. What the hell is wrong with me? Ah, fuck it. I might just jet over or something. I don't know. Or maybe Comet Dash. Ah. Okay, what is wrong with me? That, I, I can't even explain that, folks. I honestly cannot. Alright, Nail Shield. There we go. Wee, wee, wee. Yeah, but it was like I was like I think I mentioned in the uh, previous video that uh, my next the next uh, Gomer Play series I'm gonna do is um, it's gonna be the Bionic Commando series. Um, it, it's gonna be three of them because to me those are the only three that I really want to play, and they're the only three I have the best access to. Uh, as far as which three, it's going to be the NES version. Um, then you have the rearmed uh, remake of the NES version. And then I'm going to do Bionic Commando 2009. I was originally planning on doing the la that last one as a blind one. Well, actually, the last two as blind as a blind run. But I was like, you know what? I'm having so much fun. I don't want to do these blind. <laughs> you know? Like, like, that's the only thing about blind running a game that you really, really enjoy is you can't play 
it, unless you're going to be recording. And you can't always record. <laughs> and, and you're just in the mood for it. So that that's kind of a... Yeah, kind of a... Uh, kind of a curse of blind running something. Yeah, so, yes. Yeah, and, and if you hear a Facebook thing, that my, my apologies, I forgot to turn that off. Uh, but that's okay. <laughs> I hope. Uh, as long as it's... If, if it gets too much, I'll, I'll just restart this part, but... Which, I've had to restart how many times? Shit! <laughs> and now, uh, let's see, a little... Oh! It gets the one-up. Everything is going off today, apparently. Wow, I'm popular. I apologize, folks. My popularity apparently has infested the Gomer Plays game. Video. Whatever you call it. This thing. Ah! So does my lack of uh, jump timing. Yeah. Yeah. This is already a long-ass video. These videos are longer than, than typical Mega Man videos, but that's also because these levels are insanely long. Or at least they feel longer. Holy shit, man. Ah! Whew. That was fun. But let's not do that again if we don't have to, huh? Thank you. Alrighty. Get down here. Get down here and fight me like a robot thing. Um, normally I would be all over that one down there, but I kind of don't want to mess with it. Alright, glue shot, glue shot. Wrong way. Yeah, jumping for that glue shot, that first glue shot is not recommended, as you can see. Now here's the thing, in the uh, first version that they put out there, oh, excuse me, that, that particular spot was the uh, spawn point if you die against the boss. Naturally, they fixed it in future releases. <laughs> ah! No, 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 no. Here, now, answer me this. How is that, how, how did, how does nitroglycerin actually react to water? Does it, does it still have explody properties, or what? Because, uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm asking about... God damn it, Facebook, shut the fuck up. Ugh. Okay, you know what? Fuck you guys. Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy. Oh, there we go. Ugh, and that spike, you can can't really make it on your own. I mean, Rush Coil is one way. You, you should be able to use a glue shot to get over that as well if you need to. I think. Ah, oh, shit! Ooh! Come here. In fact, let's test out that theory. Whee! Yep. That works better. You need to go flying wildly through the air, either. Ah, this is, this is probably going to be the longest, if not one of the longest videos. Um, the other one would be the uh, the fourth uh, the fourth video for this one. Oh, Jeebus. Where you not only fight all, refight all the robot masters, but you have little mini stages to go along with them. You're going to see that in a couple of videos. Ah. Oh, finally! About time. Okay, what do I normally use? I normally use... This. Ah. Whee! This guy is an ass. All you really need to do is destroy the two uh, turrets on its side. Seems simple enough. But they keep shooting at you. Things coming from, you know, things shoot at you. They, it sends up bubbles from the bottom. And then it pulls this maneuver. Forcing you to do that. That is a major dick move, I think. It's time to danger wrap me. I'm just now realizing this. <laughs> uh, 
And here we go. And whoop! Jump too early, you'll fall down the pit. If you don't jump at all or you jump too late, you will get crushed. That is a dick move. But at least you can handle it. It's an ingenious way of, of, of making the boss battle a little more difficult. <laughs> but there we go. Finally, Occupied Wily Fortress Stage 2. Done. Oh, God. Oh. So, depending on what paths you took uh, during the uh, main nine Robot Master stages, this next one, uh, it'll introduce... It may be your first introduction to a few things that, up until this point, were not introduced in the quote-unquote normal routes in gameplay, and you'll see what I mean momentarily. Um, and I say momentarily, by that I mean the next video. Hi there, Joe. So, um, anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Um, yeah, that this this was a long one. Got me, I, but I'm in a rambling mood, so I guess it works out. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you next time. And until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.